What's up guys, Red X Tech here, and today I'll be releasing my resource pack that I've made for Minecraft. So yeah, I've just made a show showcase world where I can show you all about my pack. So yeah, you'll spawn in this room. I'll include download for this. Okay, so yeah, just click the button and you'll be teleported to my my room. So yeah, um, We'll start off here, and you'll be able to see some of these items and all the weapons, and I'll start over here. So, yeah, I have the diamond sword. It is, um, it's long and it's thin. I like that, so it's minimally intrusive when you're playing. It's, it just looks sleek and long. There will be an option to make it shorter as well, though. Now, um, it's... The same with all the rest of these swords, but um, I just chose the diamond sword because it was the first one. You can find all of the items in here as well. So yeah, um, these are just this is just normal faithful 64 by 64 axe. So yeah. So yeah, so yeah next I'll have the bow. I'll go over that later in my archery course. Same with fishing rod. Um, flint and steel, just normal flint and steel again. Arrow, yeah. And same with all these normal faithful 64 by 64. Yeah, so that's it for PvP right now. And next, you'll be able to see that I have some things over here. This is a um, bone that I just highlighted in black because I thought that would look pretty cool. It turns out it does when you're playing SSM and someone uses a bone explosion. I'm sorry for that squeaking, that's my chair. Well, yeah. If you're playing SSM and somebody uses Bone Explosion, then it looks really cool. So yeah, I mean, that's it for that. Um, this is just a, another 64x64 64 Ender Pearl. I took that into the pack because it was cool. And this is an animated Eye of Ender. This is really cool. It'll blink every few seconds. Thought that was interesting. And this is just a Blades Rod that'll, um, that'll shimmer every other second as well, because why not? You can also find these in here again. So yeah, that's it for all those items over there. And um, next I'll show you the text, because there's a new font, as you can tell. Just click the button there. Hello there, this is a sample message. It will have all the letters, and you can read that sentence there. That has all of the letters in the alphabet. So, yeah, you can just read that and see the examples that it has, so Grumpy Wizards make toxic brew for the evil queen and Jack. That um sort for my chair again. Yeah you can just look at that to see if you like the text. I do. So yeah next up we'll have a fishing lane. Nice fishing lane there you can grab your fishing lane. And um, I've changed that um the uh, Fishing Rod Bob to red outline in the blue because I thought that was pretty cool. Because why not? I like it. So yeah, that's it for the fishing lane. And I'll go to the archery course next. Um, you're going to be in adventure mode, so you're going to need those arrows. Which I'm in there, but I'm creative now, so I have them. Um, so yeah. I do not need those arrows. Um, as you will notice, or as you may know, a lot of the PvP texture packs have a feature on them where when you pull back the arrow, it will um, it will go from green to orange to red when you pull it back. But I didn't really like that. I liked the concept, but I didn't like it, so I went and made it go from red to orange to green to show how, how, how it was charging. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was red to orange to green. And yeah, I added that too. You're gonna shoot, and if you hit the center, then it'll give you a little notification right there. So yeah, and it just won't if you hit anywhere else. Yeah, that's the archery range. Yeah, I like the bow as well. I really like that. So yeah, next I'll show you the enchanting room. As you can see, there's a new enchanting glare. Enchanting Glint, I like that as well. Just looks really cool. And there's another example of it right here on my sword, which is titled Example. And there'll be a, um, yeah, the next is Particles. 
Notice how the particles are green instead of white. I enjoy that. There'll be a better display on Mindplex in just a moment. And it'll be with the rest of the particles. So yeah, I'm going to show you what the enchanting looks like. You guys will need these because you're not creative. I just put that in there, put your laps in there. I have changed the GUI so that it's not just one box in the middle, it's two boxes slightly off to the side because it used to be one in the middle and that really annoyed me. So yeah, just a bunch of characters there. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to see the um, enchanting glare on that as well. Cool. Well, yeah, um, that's the enchanting. And next here, I haven't labeled it, but it's the paintings room. This is where I have all the custom paintings. Now these are all normal, faithful 64 by 64 paintings, except for a few of them. This over here is my logo. And because of this, the entire pack file is, or the paintings file, is quite a large file. So um, if the paintings turn out white for you, then I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a moment. Damn. Well, that won't happen in your map because you guys will be in adventure mode. That's just a normal painting. This is my mentor for Ever Elite. He helped out with a bunch of the aspects of the pack, so I put, gave him a face. He just told me how to use some tips with Photoshop because I'm new to that. I used to use GIMP. It's decent, but yeah. This here is my face. I decided to put a painting of that because why not? This here is my friend Martin's face. His name is Christy, don't know why, but I guess tweet your own. Uh, yeah, I put his face in there because he's a friend as well. And then Lava Pancakes, put his friend, put his face in there as well. I might have a few new faces coming along and for that one and that one. I have two new, pl two new places for new faces. So these are normal faithful 64 by 64 paintings, except for this one. My mentor, Forever Elite, that guy, he plays SSM a lot, and he's a spider, so I just decided to write Elite in SSM for the spider. It's an arrow pointing at him, so yeah. He's a spider. And I wasn't able to get all of the paintings, but maybe in the later world it will, so I just got this one here. Yeah. And we're done in there for now. Gotta go fix that. Not, not now. And now you'll be able to see that I have some progress bars here. You might be wondering, what is that? You might not, you might already know. Yeah, it's the progress bar that'll show you how far you're done cooking something. I have made start out at red, and then as it progresses, go to orange, and then go to green for the last bit. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It'll just show the progress as it's going. Then I have the another one down here in the brewing stand. You'll just put the bottle in, and that'll go up like that. I made a blue because blue is a nice color. This it's also the same. It goes from red to yellow, and then further down here it'll change to green, so that it'll just be like that. And then boop. We got our potion. So yeah. I thought that was cool as well. So yeah. Uh, next we'll have the particle effects. Each of these will have a demonstration on my effects because they have a better way to display particle effects. The flame effect here, or put a blue thing in the middle of that because I really like that. It's cool. I like the blue. It also comes off the furnace when you have something in it, but I wasn't able to rig it to put something in it yet. Well, maybe next time. And then next here, we have the effect for the villager. When you hit, when you hit them, I just made it look pretty cool. Try not to hurt him too much, though. He might die. And um, here we have the um, growing part of those. Put your seeds down there. So you can use that. Put your seeds back there. And then, yeah, the 
be able to see how it gets to um, put the bread in the middle of that. I thought that was really cool. Once again, this will also be on my own So that's pretty much it for this part of the pack. I'll show you the rest of it over on Mindplex after I show you about the cross. I, I like the crosshair as well. I just thought that was pretty cool. Just a circle of target. And yeah, um, I just have clear GUI so that in any GUI you're going to be clear so if anyone's sneaking up on you and you're playing the PvP, they won't be able to get you by surprise because you have the clear GUI. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this as well, this hotbar selection thing. Well, yeah, off to Mineplex. Be back in a second. Actually, no, this is a good time to show you something else. I have this, I've made this clear as well, so... Um, yeah, it goes to white and it's clear, I like that. So yeah, now that we're here on Mineplex, I will show you the, um... Particles. Let's go to the particle effects. First is the enchanted particles. You'll be able to see that again. I like it, how it's all green. Oh, you disappeared. Yeah, it's all green again. I might make a rainbow sometime later, or make an add on for rainbow. You'll see what that on is later. Yeah. Well, next we have the flame rings. Again, it's the blue flame. I still think that's really cool. I like, I like the blue. Next, we have the green rings. That's red again. Hello, X Apple. Hello. Like some particles. Oh yeah. I like them too. He just doesn't have my resource back. Next, we have, um, yeah, we don't actually have anything else, so, just a better way to show you these. It, it looks really cool, it's blue. So yeah, this is all for now on, on the particles. Now that you've seen that, I'm going to show you the most innovative thing about my pack, I think, so that people who don't like certain aspects can go and change what they do not like about it. So, but it'll still be the same theme as the pack without them having to edit it. Well, I shall show you that now. Well, yeah, I just finished editing the video, and I realized that I forgot something. Something pretty important. Well, I guess not too important, but, uh, whoops. Let's get out of the way. As you can see, I have a new bar there for the health of the Ender Dragon. I was thinking that was pretty cool because I like that. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention it, so yeah. now that we've seen that, we can go back to the main part of the video that I had to show you after this. Yeah, I'm really forgetful. And also, as I was looking at it, I realized I need to get some new text effects, so yeah, um, I should have some more interesting text effects in the next video. Yeah. Well, yeah, since I have finished with that part, we no longer need Minecraft to complete the game. And I'll be just showing you some cool things about the pack. Um, this is just the uh, files, the photos here, and everything. You can look at the changelog to see what I've updated in the most recent versions and what I need to do in the next one. You can look at the credits to see who did what about the pack. A lot of help. Um, and it's just the pack that it's made that If you're on 1.9 and the pack isn't working for you, then go into that and change pack format to Two as it is now like that. And if you're on 1.8 and isn't working for you, it says it's 1.9, then just go back in and change pack format to one. It doesn't really matter. For me, I don't know why. 
So I'll just leave it at two for now, but if it doesn't work for you, then change it to the other one. Next is something that I'm pretty happy with, just going to the extras folder. You'll be able to see add-ons in the resource pack test world. This here is the test world that I did my testing in. You guys will be able to use that exact same map, except it'll, it won't be used up already like I did. It'll be just as it was at the start of this video, so yeah. You can go in there and use that. Next is the add-ons. You just go into there and you'll be able to see outlined ores, because some people like outlined ores, and short swords because of that as well. I'll probably add some more in here along the way. But and what you're going to want to do is open up the desired folder, go into outlined ores, say there will be a textures folder here that will have the textures in it, and a directions folder there that has directions in it. It will just tell you to do to add this on to the resource pack, copy the items in the textures folder to the assets minecraft and blocks folder over at the existing ore files. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is go into textures. Click on the first one, click on the last one, and copy. Go back to the, the main pack, Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Blocks, and then paste them. I personally am not the biggest fan of Outline Doors. I might use them, use them occasionally, but not right now. So yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to not do this, but if you want, just replace them. You'll have them instead of that. And it's, of course, it will be the same with short swords, except the directions will be different. It'll just say, bring to the items folder instead. So, grab the textures, grab these, copy them, back the pack, assets, Minecraft, textures, items, and then paste them. I'm also not going to do that because I like the long swords. Yeah, I will be adding more options to this very soon. And that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy the pack. Thanks.